Here we go, one and a half volts surging through 5,000 feet. We're gonna see if we can get your feet off the ground. Three, two, one. We're gonna run some electricity through that wire. So why would it be so important about this silly little thing? I wonder who came up with this idea of, of running a current through a wire to make a magnet. Look back over your shoulder. Hey, Michael, we're messing with your stuff. 200 years later. So, we're gonna run some juice through there. This is called a cell. Let's try it, let's try it. You wanna do it? Ta-da, now I'm gonna release the wire, ready? Release, three, two, one. Ah! We've gotta figure out a way to prove this is that strong, you know what I mean? Yes. By the way, that is very strong because there are so, each one of those wraps makes a magnetic field. And when you keep, when you add those all together, 5,000, it might just one little wrap makes one little, creates one little magnetic field. So how can we demonstrate to our friends out here? Well, we're set here ready to do something. Yeah, Pretty something. Good. Let's check this out. There's that electromagnet. It's not connected yet, but there's the cell and the cell holder and the electromagnet. How many wraps of wire in there? Did I say? 5,000. 5,000, a little bit of wire. a lot. And what's it hanging from? A chain. So I think what we're gonna do is, is hang you from this chain. All they don't 65 die. pounds. And we're gonna rely on that one little cell there to do it. I don't know, what are you thinking? One little cell gonna hold 65 pounds. Well, we're gonna do it right here where you don't have far to drop before we do it from the third floor ceiling up there. You know, see that big beam way up there? With, yeah. We hang it from that up there with the thing. But before we do that, maybe we should do it down here. Are you ready for this? Sure. Okay, so I so let's get you get your good goggles on here, and then we'll put on something head protection here. Thanks. That's a World <sighs> of War One helmet. Oh, he looks killer. Strike a pose for the camera. Hey, what up? It's right there. Science. I'm ready for anything. That's my man. That's a wit, brother. Grab your hook over there. You got the handles. Tell me what you're gonna do with those. I'm gonna hold on to them for dear life. And there's the, the metal plate. Let's see what happens if we hold it up there when it's not turned on. Ready? 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 Nothing? Nothing. You hold on to that. Nothing's gonna happen, right? Nothing. I'll hook this thing up. And in case we have an accident, everybody in the studio say goodbye, Ethan. Goodbye, Ethan. Alas, poor Ethan. I knew him well. Here we go. One and a half volts surging through 5,000 feet. I just saw a little spark. Watch this spark when I take it off. Oh, there, you see the spark? Yeah, I saw it. Oh, that's a lot better. I'll stand back here. We're gonna see if we can get your feet off the ground. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Hey, he's swinging. The man is swinging. Uh, give me 20 pull-ups there, son. No, we're okay. not do that. He's doing it. One. 65, 60, oh, look at that. Two. I was just joking. Okay. I couldn't even do one. That's pretty cool. Hang on to that I'm, and just pull on it. Now watch out, cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna unclip you a little. There it went. <laughs> a little residual magnetism. I wonder how strong that thing, you're 65 pounds, right? Yep. All 65 pounds of this man was supported by the magnetic field created by a little D-cell battery. There he goes. He's a flying, there goes the man. Hey, it's Jake Wizard 4 here at Faraday Studios. We got our friends over at Hardware Science to put together a sweet little bundle. We call it the Green Bundle. Normally this would go together for what, 60 bucks, I heard him say? Or we're gonna sell it to you for 40 bucks. This kit is called Desktop Hydroponics. You say, I don't think I have anything to do with hydroponics, do I? Yes, you do. It's a part of your daily life. Balloon science. You can get a lot of trouble with balloons. And you can also learn a lot of science, especially basic physics and some of the secrets of Newton's laws of motion. The Wizard's Book of Science Secrets by, who is it? Who is it? Wizard 4, son of a gun. He must be a good looking guy. Aha, the green bundle. Here's this setup, this hydroponics. It demonstrates how water moves through the soil and gets up to the seed and the seed transpires and grows. This is a completed version of the balloon powered car, a construction and analog thinking. If you want to get your hands on this, just check down below and, and to show you how to do it. You can order this stuff, but I encourage you to do it quick because people really love these kits. So get your hands on them. So what about, what did I set up here? Let's see, well you added a scale. A scale. Mm -hmm. And then you put the electromagnet down the corner. At the bottom of the scale, And you gotcha. have different alligator clips connected yeah. to this switch. knife switch. Knife switch. And there's mm -hmm. a bucket below it. That's a tow chain for a truck. 
Yeah, and see where the chain's going? Yeah, it's going all the way up to the those mighty beams up above overhead. Did we lift you up with that thing? We did. With that one D-cell, right? Yeah, we did. Well, do you think we ought to go a little better than that? Want to lift a wizard? Oh. <gasps> no, we won't go that far. We're not going to do lifting the wizard today. Oh. We're going to see. Let's just, we'll just see if we can max this thing out or not, okay? Okay. Can you see what it says on the scale? I don't want to break my scale. What's the max on the scale? 110 pounds. Okay. Sure, I don't know. 100 pounds is a lot for that little cell to hold up. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? So here is, is a piece of lead, and do you see what it registers on the scale? 30 pounds. Yeah. And there's another 30 pound slab of lead. That's 60 pounds. That's right. 65. Where's five pounds? There's, look at what right that there. say. Right there. Five. five pounds. That's you. There's Ethan. We're going to put you in that bucket. And you see what I've got sitting on the floor there. I've got what another? More another, weights. Yeah, 25, 25, another 10. Got a whole stack of weights over there. And if not, we can get one of the cameramen hanging on this. I don't know how much weight we got. So you ready to try this? Yeah. So we're gonna load this thing up with the weights and then we'll flip the switch and see what happens. So we're gonna we're gonna put you in the bucket to okay. start out with. So let's do that first. There's 65 pounds. That's you in the bucket, right? So when we hook up the electromagnet, if this works, and we can get that bucket hanging from here, then we'll see what happens if we can max this thing out. You ready to try this? Yeah. Everybody stand back. Oh, you can hold me. I'm listening to the bucket as it moans and groans. And that might not have been the snaps. best choice. Maybe, yeah, we're learning this as we go. Maybe the bucket will give way before everything else. We'll find out. I think it will. You think the bucket will give way? All right, here we go. 65 plus bucket, 25 pounds in the bucket. One, two, three. <laughs> Man, how much is it reading now? That's 25, that's 90 pounds. Okay, I'm, okay, I'll put in another five pounds. Just right over there in the corner. Just don't drop it though. There you go. 97. I'll pull you back. Just don't splash any blood on my pants here. Yeah, there you go. Woo! Oh, the bucket's... Yeah, the bucket's having a fit. Yeah. 100, 102. Here, let's, let's go for about another five and a half pounds. No. Look at that thing. Whew. Are we gonna run out of scale? Are we about out of scale? One more five to do it. One more five, here we go. Oh, did you hear that noise? One more. You're maxed. Am I maxed? You're past 110. Okay. Yeah. 110 pounds. I'm, I'm gonna go for two more. Uh, two and a half more, just to see. Just to see, just should I do it? Well, you choose. Should I do it? I can move. Uh, well, I'm not going to break my scale. Isn't that something? You hear that little cell? You hear what he's doing? He's going, uh, you hear that? Yeah. Uh, we need to get some off. So guess what you breaks. get to do? You get to throw the switch open. Uh-oh. <clears throat> so I'm going to hold this, and you're going to lift up on what's going to happen. It's going to drop. Should we put something under there? Sure. So smash. Get, how about that a, a box of cereal? Not the lucky charms. Not the lucky <laughs> charms. Yeah. They're supposed to be lucky. Hey, did you notice what we slipped under the bucket? Yeah, what a, a bag of cereal. Bag of cereal, yeah. I think they were called lucky charms. They ain't gonna be so lucky now, are they? Nope. If this works, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so in three, two, one, I will count down. You're gonna open the switch and we'll see. And you know what's amazing? That little bitty cell. That little bitty cell. Is holding up over 100 pounds. It's holding up over 100 and pounds. And it has been doing it for quite a while. It has been doing it for quite a while. That's amazing. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. That scared me. That did. That happened quick. That did. Ahoy! There we go. Well, let's see what's, well, I don't know. Let's see what what, what mess we made. Oh, well, I think we need to do it again. The, the cereal didn't go everywhere. There, that's all right. The magnet made it through all right. That's a good knife switch. I like that. I think that was, what was it, 19, 1928. That's a sweetheart. And here is Ethan and friends. Oh my goodness. That's heavy. Well, we kind of mashed the cereal. That's all right. Uh, oh well. I'll How give that a, that up? Nah. I didn't know what it was going to do, did you? I was kind of hoping it'd throw cereal everywhere and make Same. a mess and everybody scream, but we got a little smashed, smashed, uh, 
Maybe the next time we need to do it is put the bucket up about here. Yeah. Or something like that. We'll do it. We'll look in the camera and say goodbye. If, if, and if you would like to see more of this type of uh, scientific silliness, where would they find it? Well, they could find this on TikTok. Yep. Instagram. Yes, right. Facebook, mm -hmm. YouTube, YouTube, and Patreon. And Patreon, especially Patreon. We like Patreon yes. people. Thank you, Patreon people. You are so good looking and a nice group of people, aren't you? Don't you, don't you think? Yes, very. Yeah. So we learned something about electromagnets. We did. Yes, well, a little bit. There's a lot more to learn. Okay, thank you. And thank you, Michael Faraday, for discovering the electromagnetic effect. You did good. Thank <laughs> you.